tale of a chick named Marsha born in Bethlehem, PA. So pretty and pink with eyes of black and a tapered beak, they say. Now Marsha was so very sweet, the sweetest peep of all. And she wound up at the candy store inside a local mall. The friends she gained wrapped in cellophane were a highly sought infection. And though she knew their time was short, they shared a deep affection. With Easter just a week away, she was thinking up a plan. I've got to make my getaway just as quickly as I can. She's Marsha the Marshmallow Peak. By her friends in a package she sleeps. Now they all stick together in foul or fair weather. Sweet Marsha the Marshmallow Peep The other peeps accepted their doom But Marsha wouldn't budge She just couldn't see why they didn't want free But she never held a grudge Yes, our just-born friend was quite determined To be out by Easter morn But the prospects didn't look so good And it left her heart forlorn Ocean came to her sugar-coated mind for making her escape. She figured once the store was closed, she'd be in dandy shape. Pecking a hole in the plastic wrap was a way out, so she thought, and would spare her from a horrible end in the jaws of a sweet tooth pot. She's Marsha the Marshmallow Peep. By her friends in a package she sleeps Yes, they all stick together in foul or fair weather Sweet Marsha the Marshmallow Pea Well, so much for the best laid plans of mice and men and peeps It didn't take her long to learn that she was in trouble plenty deep she was stuck like glue to the others in the row, so there she'd have to stay. For her tapered beak was flat, and she had no wings to fly away. Then it dawned on her she had no feet, and of course her fate was sealed. Just when the end would come, my friend, was soon to be revealed. She was tossed into a shopping cart like her friends who'd gone before. And she turned a paler shade of pink, and her sugar dropped for sure She's Marsha the Marshmallow Pea By her friends in a package she sleeps Yes, they all stick together In foul or fair weather Sweet Marsha the Marshmallow Pea Come Easter morning she was found Hiding deep inside the basket Freckle-faced boy, all full of joy, would send her to the casket. He showed no mercy for poor sweet Marcia as he clamped down on her neck. He swallowed her head and the rest of her too, and that's the end by heck. It was a bitter end for Marcia, so sweet. Farewell to our marshmallow tweet. A real softy was she. As most would agree, but you can't run away with.